Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to talk a little bit tonight about the Distort tool, which is underneath your blend or drop shadow, depending on where you're at, depending on which tool you use less. Normally, it's the blend. No, normally, I guess it is the drop shadow. So go down to Distort, pick your line, and then couple of, you have a couple of options, push and pull, zipper, pick on zipper, then go right here to this preset, and I'm gonna take stamp, and you see what it did. And then here, up in your docker, you have, you can change the, the depth of the zipper type effect. You can change the, how close they are together. And then a, probably another thing that's really cool, you can change you have to go back to the distort tool to get this. You can go to the smooth, smooth distortion and get kind of like a radial wave. It would be kind of hard to produce that. And you can play around with it and have them, the frequency or whatever you want uh, done differently. But there's a lot you can do with this type of stuff. Um, you know, just for instance, let's, uh, let's make this thing, uh, well, that's good enough. Uh, Control D and make a duplicate and then mirror it. Got a totally different look. Let's bring it up here. Have two of them. You could draw, you know, two point lines between them and have a, of course, I'm got a, I'm drawing in hairline, but then you could take your smart fill tool and fill that in. And then you could get that total different line look. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker so you can see it on the, your monitor a little bit better. I mean, there's a lot you could do with this. So try out the distort tool. I haven't used it that much because normally I'm just thinking uh, it does stuff like this. If you take the star in the distort tool, you can distort it like that and make all different kinds of shapes. You can spiral that star. Play around with it. Distort tool. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.